tell me, what do you think is the future of Christianity? Well, Christianity and being a true believer, you know, I think there's the, the, the body of Christ, which comes from all the Christian groups around the world, or outside the Christian groups. I think everybody that, that loves Christ or knows Christ, whether they're conscious of it or not, they're members of the body of Christ. And I don't think that we're going to see a great sweeping uh, revival that will turn the whole world to Christ at any time. I think James answered that, the Apostle James, in the first council in Jerusalem, when he said that God's purpose for this age is to call out a people for his name. And that's what God is doing today. He's calling people for, out of the, the world for his name, whether they come from the Muslim world or the Buddhist world or the Christian world or the non-believing world. Uh, they are members of the body of Christ because they've been called by God. They may not even know the name of Jesus, but uh, they know in their heart that they need something that they don't have and they turn to the only light that they have and I think that they are saved and that they're going to be with us in heaven. This is fantastic. I'm so thrilled to hear you say that. There's a wideness in God's mercy. There was a, an interview that was held between Robert Schuller and Dr. Billy Graham on the Hour of Power. I have the transcript of that conversation. The conversation went like this. Dr. Schuller said, tell me, what is the future of Christianity? Dr. Graham said, I think there's the body of Christ, which comes from all the Christian groups around the world, or outside the Christian groups. I think everybody that loves Christ or knows Christ, whether they're conscious of it or not, they're members of the body of Christ. And I don't think that we're going to see a great sweeping revival that will turn the whole world to Christ at any time. In other words, what he's saying is, uh, there are people in the body of Christ who never heard of Christ, uh, so we don't need to expect that they're all going to come to Christ. They're going to come another way. Further, he says, God's purpose for this age is to call out a people for his name, and that's what God is doing today. He's calling people out of the world for his name, whether they come from the Muslim world or the Buddhist world or the Christian world or the non-believing world. They are members of the body of Christ because they've been called by God. They may not even know the name of Jesus, but they know in their hearts that they need something that they don't have. And they turn to the only light they have, and I think they're saved, and they're going to be with us in heaven. Dr. Schuller responded, what I hear you saying is that it's possible for Jesus Christ to come into a human heart and soul and life even if they've been born in darkness and have never heard and never had exposure to the Bible. Is that a correct interpretation of what you're saying? Dr. Graham, yes it is, because I believe that. I've met people in various parts of the world in tribal situations. They've never seen a Bible or heard about a Bible, have uh, never heard of Jesus, but they have believed in their hearts that there is a God and they've tried to live a life that was quite apart from the surrounding community in which they live. Dr. Schuler, this is fantastic. I'm so thrilled to hear you say that. There is a wideness in God's mercy. Dr. Graham, there is, there certainly is. This has certainly leaped from Aristotle to the Catholic Church into evangelical Protestantism. Now we have a kind of Protestant viewpoint that says Muslims and Hindus and whoever are going to be in the body of Christ, in the kingdom, in heaven, with salvation, whether they ever get a Bible or whether they ever hear the gospel or whether they ever know about Jesus Christ. The uh, Billy Graham organization affirmed that this position is the same as the one articulated in an article in Decision magazine, which Billy wrote in 1960, so this is not something new.